The Kosh Tepe Canal, with a length of 285 kilometers, is one of the large and important water supply projects in Afghanistan, designed to improve agriculture and increase the living standards of the region's people. This channel is located in northern Afghanistan and starts from the AMU Darya River. The AMU River is one of the region's largest rivers, originating from the Pamir Mountains and entering Afghanistan after passing through several countries. Kosh Tepe Canal starts from this point in Balkh Province, near the border of Tajikistan. Balkh Province is one of the important and historical provinces of Afghanistan. Mazari Sharif is known as its center. This province has abundant water resources and fertile lands, and the Kosh Tepe Canal plays a vital role in the optimal use of these resources. After the beginning of Balkh, the Kosh Tepe Canal flows towards the west. This canal passes through different areas of Balkh province and supplies water to the agricultural lands of this province, which increases agricultural production and improves the livelihood of farmers. One of the important areas through which the Kush Tepe Canal passes is the fertile plains of the Shur Tepe region. This area is considered one of the important agricultural centers of Balkh province with suitable soil and favorable climatic conditions. After passing Shortepa, the canal moves to the southwest and enters Jiaozian province. Jiaozian province is one of the northern provinces of Afghanistan, which, due to limited water resources, is in dire need of projects such as the Kosh Tepe Canal. Jiaozian province has vast agricultural lands that are not fully utilized due to water shortage. With the water entering this province from the Kosh Tepe Canal, more lands are cultivated and agriculture in this region becomes more prosperous. One of the important areas through which the Gosh Tepe Channel passes is in the Mardayan and Kaja Do Ko districts of Jiaozian province. These districts, having large lands and sufficient water, can become one of the agricultural poles of Afghanistan. After passing through Jiaozian, the Kosh Tepe Canal continues to the west and enters Faryab province. Faryab province is also one of the northwestern provinces of Afghanistan that is facing a shortage of water resources. Faryab province has vast agricultural lands that are not fully exploited due to lack of water. With the entry of water from the Gikuash Tepe Canal, these lands are cultivated and agricultural production in this area increases. One of the important areas of Faryab through which the Kosh Tepe Canal passes is the Ankoy district of Faryab province. By receiving water from the Kosh Tepe Canal, this district can become one of the important agricultural and economic centers of Afghanistan. Along its route, the Kosh Tepe Canal passes through several villages and small towns, many of which are not fully developed due to a lack of water. By supplying water from this channel, these areas also get more opportunities for development and growth. One of the most important benefits of the Gosh Tepe Canal is the increase in cultivated area and agricultural production in the different areas it passes through. This increase in production will help improve the livelihood of farmers and will also help ensure food security in Afghanistan. Kosh Tepe Canal is one of the big and complex projects that thousands of people participate in its construction. This big project has created massive employment in different regions of northern Afghanistan and has played an important role in reducing unemployment in these regions. Heavy and advanced machinery is used in the Kosh Tepe Canal project. These machines include excavators, bulldozers, earth-moving trucks, and advanced drilling rigs that are used to excavate and construct the channel bed. The cost of the Kosh Tepe Canal project is very high. Initial estimates show that the cost of building this canal will reach $1 billion. These costs include construction, machinery, labor, and project management costs. Kosh Tepe Canal is designed to cover thousands of hectares of agricultural land. With the supply of sufficient water from this canal, agricultural lands that were previously unusable due to lack of water can now be fully cultivated. The route of the Kosh Tepe Canal mainly passes through the vast plains of northern Afghanistan. With fertile soil, these plains have a high potential for agricultural development, and water supply from the Kosh Tepe Canal helps exploit this potential. The first phase of the Kosh Tepe Canal project has been completed. In this phase, 
Parts of the canal that passes through Balkh province have been put into operation, and water will reach the agricultural lands of this region shortly. This will have many positive effects on agriculture and people's livelihood. Now the Kosh Tepe Canal project has entered its second phase. In this phase, parts of the canal that pass through Jazyan and Faryab provinces are under construction. About 51% of the work of this channel has progressed so far, and it is expected to be put into operation shortly. In the second phase of the project, a large number of workers and specialists are involved in the construction of the canal. This phase includes the construction of the necessary infrastructure for the canal to pass through different areas, the construction of bridges and crossings, and the installation of modern irrigation systems. The progress of the Kosh Tepe Canal project is very remarkable due to the efficient management and the use of advanced technologies in the construction and supervision of the work. This rapid progress shows the importance and priority of this project for the Afghanistan government and people. One of the most important challenges in the second phase of the project is facing geographical and natural problems. Passing the canal through difficult and unstable areas requires careful planning and the use of new technologies so that the project can be completed safely and efficiently. With the completion of the second phase of the Kosh Tepe Canal, it is expected that wider areas of agricultural land will be covered. This will increase agricultural production and improve the economic situation of more areas of northern Afghanistan. Along with agricultural development, the Kosh Tepe Canal project will also have positive effects on the environment. By providing enough water, vegetation will increase in the canal crossing areas, and this will help reduce soil erosion and preserve natural resources. With the completion of the second phase, the project will enter its final phase, which includes completing the remaining sections and improving the management and maintenance systems of the canal. This phase will also require extensive efforts and investments. By providing water for agriculture, industry, and drinking, the Kosh Tepe Canal is known as one of the key development projects in Afghanistan, which helps to improve people's lives and sustainable development of the country. With the completion of this project, it is expected that northern Afghanistan will become one of the important agricultural and economic centers of the country.